Good morning, Seattle. It's Wednesday, January 15th. We're looking at a high of 43 and a low of 34 in the Washington state area today with scattered clouds and a chance of light snow arriving early afternoon. It seemed like spring had arrived yesterday. It really did. Beautiful. We hit uh, 56 out of SeaTac. It's going to be mild again today, but not quite that warm and not quite as sunny. As a matter of fact, we saw the high clouds rolling in yesterday afternoon. Later in the week, we'll see temperatures dropping back probably into the uh, mid 40s, a little bit closer to normal for this time of the year. That heavy moment today when the Chief Justice arrived to be sworn in to preside over the impeachment trial of President Trump. Australia has always had wildfires, but this year started earlier. It's a new type of coronavirus. The World Health Organization believes the discovery will help authorities around the world detect and respond to outbreaks. And the Oscar goes to Parasite. <laughs> Harry says he had no other option but to cut most of his royal ties. Now to growing concerns about the deadly coronavirus officially hitting the U.S., here's what we know. A Washington state resident fell ill after returning from Wuhan, China, where the outbreak began. He will remain in isolation for at least the next couple of days. They will continue to monitor him as well as the health care providers and patients he came into contact with after testing positive for the coronavirus. The 50th annual World Economic Forum gets underway in earnest today and uh, this of course in Davos, Switzerland. Great to see you. Thank you for joining us again in Davos. We've done this before. That's right. Before we get started, the CDC uh, has identified a case of coronavirus uh, in Washington state. Have you been briefed by the CDC? I have. Are there words about a pandemic at this point? No, we're not at all. And uh, we're, we have it totally under control. It's one person coming in from China and we have it under control. It's going to be just fine. Thanks for watching the first three minutes of The Curve. We have an ambitious plan to finish this film and get it seen by all Americans before Election Day, but we're going to need your help to do it. So please check out the crowdfunding link below.